Liam Neeson's character Tom Carter, often known as the in and out Bandit, robs a safe because it is his final planned crime. Later, he visits a self-storage facility in search of employment and meets graduate student Annie, Kate Walsh. Tom finds himself chit-chatting with Annie as he prepares to earn an honest living, she seemed to find him endearing. Tom and Annie started dating one year later. Although they are legally breaking in, he takes her to an apartment he intends to buy for the two of them. He is getting ready to build a secure future for the two of them while she likes the location. FBI agent Myers, Jeffrey Donovan, commutes to work in the city with his dog. He discloses to Agent Baker, Robert Patrick, his superior, that he is divorcing his wife and that she has agreed to let him keep the puppy. Later, Tom contacts the office to give himself in, identify himself as the in and out bandit, and express his dislike for the nickname. The FBI doesn't believe him and inquires as to why he wants to give himself in when they have obtained multiple bandit confessions. He confesses to them his love for Annie and his desire for a new beginning. Baker sends Nibbins, Jai Courtney, and Hall, Anthony Ramos, two other agents, to interview Tom but is not persuaded. Tom informs the two agents upon their arrival at his flat that a storage facility holds all the money he has hidden from previous crimes. At first, the agents don't believe him, but then he reveals the location where he has stored all the stolen money. The moment the agents arrive in the storage facility, they learn to their amazement that Tom had been telling the truth because he had millions of dollars hidden there. Since Nivens is aware that Hall requires additional funds in order to sustain his family, he tries to recruit Hall to a scheme in which they will keep the money for themselves. Hall resists, stating that they might end up in prison for doing this. But Nivens convinces him and Hall agrees to it grudgingly. Annie suddenly shows up and inquires in a friendly manner. The agents lie to Annie when they run into her on their way out by claiming to know Tom. Tom's residence is where the agents go next. In an effort to kill Tom there and then and take the money, Nivens pulls out his gun, but the plan is derailed when Baker enters the flat. Baker gets suspicious after observing the situation. Nivens kills Baker by shooting him out of the blue. Tom fights Nivens and Hall, which causes Tom and Nivens to fall out of a window as Annie passes by. Tom urges her to flee as they escape the dishonest agents, but she is appalled. Hall and Nivens attempt to cover up the incident as they depart, with Nivens hoping to implicate Tom. Hall is also aware that Tom stole his gun. Tom drives Annie to safety, but he is compelled to admit right then and then that he once committed theft. He claims he wants to treat Annie right and tells her the truth. Even though Tom tries to be open and honest about his goals, she is deeply shocked by this information. Till Tom's car wrecks, Nivens and Hall pursue them on the highway. After they lose Nivens, he and Annie hide out in a parking garage, and Tom hotwires another vehicle to escape. For now, Tom and Annie visit a playground. She's still upset at learning his truth. He describes to her how his father drove a fast car into a tree to end his life after losing his job as a result of the CEO of his firm stealing from the workers. Later, Tom stole from the same CEO. He acknowledges that stealing had given him life, but the day he met Annie, everything changed. He is concerned about her safety and suggests her to leave the city. He takes her to a bus station and she begins to forgive him gradually. Myers visits the flat at the same time to find Baker's body and subsequently has to inform Baker's wife of his passing. After the former agent lies to Myers about who killed Baker, Myers looks into Tom's past with Nivens and Hall the following morning. They discover that he actually goes by the last name Dolan and that he learned about explosives and destruction while serving in the Marines. Tom searches for information on Nivens at the same time. Annie rejects the idea of leaving the city and calls Tom to discuss obtaining video from the storage facility that would show Nivens and Hall were responsible for the money theft. When Annie finally decides to go collect it, Nivens discovers her and attacks her. Despite Annie's efforts, Nivens knocks her unconscious. He attempts to kill her with a gun, but Hall steps in and steals Annie's security tape. Tom locates Annie and transports her to a medical facility. When he calls Nivens and Hall, Myers uses his own phone to listen in. Tom accuses Nivens of hitting Annie, but he denies it. Tom then swears to pursue Nivens. Tom is recognized by a neighboring policeman who then pursues him. Following suit after learning about it are Nivens and Hall. Once he spots the agents, Tom emerges from hiding after losing the other officer and rams his van into their vehicle. Nivens fires at Tom, but he flees and is lost. Tom runs into Myers and engages in a brief battle with him until he convinces him that he is on his side and that he did not kill Baker. 
The agent proceeds to sit in Annie's room after Tom informed him that she is in the hospital. Later, he notices Nivens stopping by to do the job, but he departs when he sees Myers. Myers is now suspicious about Nivens and Hall, so he calls them to his office and inquires about the money and Tom's motive of killing Baker. Later that evening, Hall is talking about some of his personal feelings in bed with his wife Beth, Jasmine Cephas Jones. Then, when he enters the garage, Tom surprises him. Hall informs him that Nivens was solely responsible for everything, and he hands Tom the security tape. Additionally, he forewarns Tom that Nivens will attempt to kill Annie, so he must get her out of the hospital. As a result, Tom visits Annie discreetly and discovers that she is awake. He is able to free her and take her to a secure area. While at home, Tom is preparing an explosive to use against Nivens. Tom is accompanied by Annie as he pursues Nivens. He places a bomb in his home and gives him ample time to flee before detonating it. While Annie waits for Myers at the storage facility to locate the remaining funds, Tom was aware that Nivens would direct him to the location where he and Hall are concealing their loot. There is a firefight in which Hall is killed after Tom discovers Nivens and Hall there. Nivens tries to flee once more and leaves in his car, but Tom calls and informs him that he has placed another pressure-sensitive bomb in the vehicle that will go off at the first sign of movement. Nivens is forced to stop and wait for the bomb squad to show up. When they arrive, Nivens is now seen surrounded by the FBI. They discover that the bomb is useless and was used as a trap to put Nivens down. Since Nivens was carrying stolen money and Myers had a video of Nivens and Hall discussing having slain Baker, Myers had the feds detain Nivens. Annie approaches Myers outside FBI headquarters and begs him to be gentle with Tom. To turn himself in, Tom personally calls Myers, and Myers offers to work to assist Tom get a lesser sentence. Then, Myers and the two have a final conversation before Tom and Annie embrace, and the movie ends. Everything I do, so instinctive and so passionate. Every word I move, so descriptive like an adjective. I got a vendetta against people who patented it. Being negative when you should be getting after it. I got facts over facts over tracks. This and that, spitting slow, spitting fast. Like a roast, like a gas. Think I'm okay at last, but I...